I'm calling the meeting to order. This is the City of Urbana Human Relations Commission, Tuesday, May 21st, 2024. <clears throat> uh, Tom, could you call the roll, please? Peter Resnick. Here. Greg Schroeder. Bahagan Chieflikan. Here. Dalany Smith. Here. Ann Panthen. Here. <clears throat> Thank you, Tom. Um, so, I think on your agendas, uh, we have we have um, missed a an item that is now going to be added, and it is the introduction of the new commissioner, which is an important issue. We don't want to skip over that. Uh, so, hang on. Let me re let me make sure I understand what we're doing. <clears throat> okay, so um, we are adding that to the agenda, and we'll need to vote on the new agenda. I will uh, move approval of the agenda with the uh, additional item. I second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Okay. So, Carla, could you introduce our new commissioner? <laughs> I would like to formally introduce Vahagan Shiflikan. Did I say it right? Okay. Um, he was appointed um, in April at the April meeting of the council, I believe April 22nd. That he was appointed and so we are definitely welcome welcome to have him on the uh, board um, he's already com he had already completed his OMA before he, you know he had it before we got um, even got approved so it was like wonderful to have that already done and I will turn it over to Vahagen to share a little bit about himself that I haven't already shared all right thank you madam chairman ladies and gentlemen let me introduce myself uh, my academic background is in political science and sociology. My professional work experience spans various government institutions, both in the United States and Armenia. Well, um, first of all, thank you for the trust you have placed in me by selecting me as a commissioner on the Human Relations Commission. As I stand before you in this first meeting as a commissioner, I feel a deep sense of responsibility and excitement. It's an honor for me to join a group dedicated to fostering a more inclusive community, and I'm eager to join, to begin working with you together. Well, first of all, mm, I'm committed to advocating for the, for the, and working towards creating a more inclusive and diverse community, and uh, where all people with uh, all backgrounds feel valued and respected. I'd like to advocate for the rights of all individuals that are uh, regardless of race, ethnicity, religion, national origin, social economic status, physical appearance, and other characteristics. Because our diversity is our strength, and when we embrace it, we enrich the fabric of our community. Well, talking about the community, as a resident of our community, I'm deeply invested in its well-being and growth. And I believe that each of us has a role to play in, its, in shaping the future of our community. And I'm committed to doing my part. I want to contribute to making our community an even better place to live, work, and thrive. And also, I believe that the Human Relations Commission is a wonderful platform that allows to engage with our residents, understand their needs, and to, through collaborative efforts, find effective solutions to their pro problems. It's my sincere desire to ensure that all individuals do not encounter discrimination in their professional, academic, and personal endeavors. Well, <coughs> Uh, dear colleagues, 
let us work together to build the bridges of understanding, to promote justice and equality, to ensure that our community remains welcoming and supportive place for all. And I am really very excited to embark on this journey with all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, we are going to move on. Um, let's see. Did I take care of that, Tom, that I was supposed to? Certainly did. I did. Thanks. All right. <clears throat> so, the approval of minutes for April 16th, 2024. Hopefully everyone's had a chance to read them and I would entertain a motion to approve them. I'll put that motion forth. Thank you. Do we have a second? Second? Yeah. Second. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Um, next is public participation. So I see none. So we will move on. Uh, unfinished business, I presume we have none this time. No unfinished business. New business. This is uh, the time when we are going to uh, go over the EEO certifications or recertifications. Um, I can tell you, and I know you wouldn't know this necessarily, but uh, we only have six, but sometimes we have many more, many. So you have joined in a, a nice quiet time. Uh, and some of these are, you know, under 14, is it under 14? Yeah, under 14 employees, which 14, is 14 and, under. 14 and under. That's right, 14 and under, which is sort of an automatic renewal. Pete? So a question about that. This is our new procedure. Um, so how do we handle this? Do we just make a motion for those and then move on to the others? We'll do it as two separate motions? I think that they're listed that way on the agenda, so I think that's really uh, the best. So um, we can just get the, uh, the automatic certifications out of the way, and those are, you're going to have to remind me, David Wessner. David Wessner and Polly Heyer. And Polly Heyer. So those are, uh, those, although Polly Heyer, if you Google them, it is a big company. So the company that, the portion of the company that we're working with is not a, the, you know, it's a small office. But they do have, they do have a, almost like a worldwide um, presence in executive searching. Interestingly, um, okay, so we would need a motion to uh, approve the automatic certifications. There are the two that we just spoke of. So I'll make a motion to approve David B. Wessner Law LLC and Poly Hire Strategy Corp for uh, two year approval. I'll second that. We have a motion and a second. Do we have any, uh, any discussion, any comments on uh, that particular idea? No? Okay. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. That puts those folks out. So now we have consideration of the other four, which uh, have bigger work forces so we can't do that part uh, quickly like that. So we would need to uh, make a motion and somebody can make an omnibus motion. I'm actually perfectly happy with the staff recommendations this time. So I'm happy to make an omnibus motion for Crawford, Murphy and Tilly Inc. for one year, Petri Kuna, a company, Kune, uh, for one year, Reliable Mechanical LLC for one year, and Titan Industries, Inc. for one year, each with a letter um, 
requesting uh, good faith efforts. It, were, were, did I miss one of the staff recommendations? I think you said Titan Industries for one year, and the recommendation was, was for two. Was for two. Sorry. Let me go down. I know I reviewed them earlier. <laughs> You're right, and yes, I remember reviewing that one. So yes, I'm sorry, I misstated my intended motion. Uh, so Titan Industries Inc. for two years, that one without a letter. All right, do we have a second? I'll second. Thank you. Um, any discussion on any of these? Any questions or uh, for Carla or Tom or any discussion about the companies? And, and I'll just say the one-year recommendations looked fine. The numbers were not great. And so we yeah. would like to see some good faith efforts on Titan Industries, the local population of Deer Creek. <laughs> they just simply don't have a, a population to pick from. So it, it matches reasonably well, as a matter of fact, they're outdoing their population by a bit, mm -hmm. um, and the numbers are so in the statistical noise that uh, to your recommendation seemed fine. And is that the one in the small town outside of, like, Morton, Illinois? Just really, I think it's outside of Morton. Is that where but Deer Creek is? I, I, I think it's not close enough for any kind of public transportation. Yeah, it didn't sound like it. Really out there, and it's little all by itself. Uh, he was just saying that it's uh, in Tazewell County, which is probably between Peoria and, and Chicago. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any other comments or questions about those four? Right. Um, so, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Good. Officer's report, Carla. At our last meeting, I shared that we had two complaints open. Well, there's currently now only one complaint open. Um, both of them were for employment, and uh, one of them have, has been closed with a no probable cause finding, and the other case is still ongoing. Um, there was one informal inquiry um, but it was not in the city's jurisdiction. And so I usually will just refer them to where they could go to find that information out. And this person was, I believe, very south of the state. And so I, I told them where they could go to uh, find some type of relief in that area or who to go to for help. Um, attended the, for office activities, I attended the Spring Midwest Leadership Institute completed one follow-up meeting with the Institute instructors for, instructors for a self-assessment um, that the Institute provided. I learned a lot about myself <laughs> and my leadership style, and I'm hoping that um, Tom is benefiting from that. <laughs> that, that well, he um, looks like it. Education <laughs> that I learned, but I also learned a lot about myself, and um, I've been doing a lot of reflecting on... Um, on, on what I learned, and, try, and I, I can see where the points that were provided, where they show up, and um, also taking into consideration some of the things that I can do to enhance those areas. Um, but it, is, it was a very interesting um, institute, and you, you really get down to the nitty gritty, and it's all based on um, government uh, work, those that work in city government, um, so it was really interesting to see other perspectives, even though, you know, I'm, I'm here and a lot of the communities were north or either out of state. We all have similar challenges and, tri and, and, and triumphs. So it was nice to uh, participate in that. Um, working with the community relations office at the city um, to schedule tabling opportunities for recruitment for both boards um, that we staff and an updated calendar will be sent to um, each board member so that you can see what things are available. Um, I have some stuff on my calendar and I'm going to offer you know, opportunities for you to join me, um, things such as the um, Market Square, and I think mm -hmm. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, 
we emailed the uh, housing know your rights um, posters. Do you remember those? Yep. Um, those were all emailed out um, to property managers that live in Champaign and Urbana. Uh, the final phase for the required notification, there were approximately 510 emailed with 11 coming back undeliverable. I thought that was a pretty good, wow. <laughs> pretty good percentage considering um, the office will um, mail, will snail mail those that came back. Um, we worked with, um, I'm working with the New American Welcome Center to get our Housing Know Your Rights posters translated into Spanish and French. And as of today, we received that translation. So those posters will be turned into, um, they will be translated for uh, the different languages and we'll have those available. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we had one, one um, property manager that had actually requested it. So we're gonna make sure that they get that information. Um, virtually attended the um, IDHR, which is the Illinois Department of Human Rights, basic fair housing training on April 17. Although I've been in this position for three years now and doing the work, it's always good to go back and get refreshers because every case is different. Every, every situation has a, a, a new nuance. And so it's always great to go back and just get the basics. And so I participated in that on April 17. I attended the mayoral recognition program at Urbana High School for students who have completed 30 or more volunteer hours. Those students, um, they did over 10,000 hours, which was more than a year. <laughs> there's more, uh, mm -hmm. there's less hours in a year than, than what those students had done. It was a really great evening. Um, Tom and I, we manned, a ta or not manned, we staffed a table um, and we met a lot of the students and we were also doing some recruiting there because if they're 18 and older and can vote, they can sit on the commission. And so we were doing some uh, recruitment there. A lot of them were like, oh, wow, that was fun. We might, that sounds interesting. We might want to do that. And then I followed up with meeting with one of the um, programs at the school. Um, it's the minority enrichment program. And, um, so I met with them yesterday. We had lunch and we sat down and we talked about, um, they wanted to know what I did for a living and, and about my job and then um, talked about what their goals are for their program and they're wanting to be more involved. And so I did invite them to come to one of our meetings um, just to see how you know um, the parliamentary things happen. And so they are excited about that. I'm going to be meeting with their coordinator and another um, instructor at the um, high school and we're going to just um, have a um, conversation about what are some of the types of things that we can collaborate on with our office and with that program. Looking very forward to it. I haven't um, worked with high schoolers in a while <laughs> um, and so I got to get used to that again um, but I'm hoping that it'll be a wonderful opportunity for us to provide you know resources um, hopefully some guidance and just anything I can do to help them move forward in their future stories. Um, I think I read that yesterday. Okay. Uh, recruitment opportunity on May 30, 2024 at seven to nine with uh, the Southeast Urbana uh, Neighborhood Association at the church on Philo Road. I believe it was St. Matthew's, but um, I had saw recently that it may have changed, but I will make sure to get the correct um, location. I know, Anne, you have volunteered. Mm -hmm. If anyone else would like to volunteer to attend that night, I will be there. I think, Tom, will you be there? Tom will be there, but I will be there. And we also have some um, members from the um, Civilian Police Review Board that's going to join us. So please feel free to um, join us that night. Mm -hmm. And then the city, or, city of Urbana has a Juneteenth, Juneteenth committee working on activities to commemorate the day. That's June 19, 2024. And the dates of the activities are June 14, which will include a reverence ceremony and meet and greet. June 18th, there will be an employees, families, and guests luncheon in the back quad of City Hall, right, just right out there. Um, and if you're available, please attend uh, both days for the events. Um, we would love to have you there. And, most of, and both of them will start midday. It'll be around the lunch hour. One thing that we are uh, including this year is we're going to be indoors and we're also going to have table displays. Um, this um, Urbana Free Library will have a display. 
Um, we've invited the Martin Luther King Advocacy for Justice Committee to have a table, and I believe we are going to have some other tables that will um, highlight some of the um, um, history of Urbana will be ta um, available. And, that, and that's at well. the June 18th event? At the June 18th event. Okay. Yeah. The June, no, not 18th, 14th. For Juneteenth or for the uh, city employee family lunch? Oh, that will be the 18th. Okay, okay. that's the 18th. So the, tabling, the tabling in the lobby will happen on the day of the, the 14th. Okay. On Friday. Friday the 14th. And then everything that's happening on the 18th will be outdoors. Outback. Outback. Okay. And there's food. Food and, <laughs> every, and everyone here is invited and if you want to bring family member or guest, please do so. Okay, sounds great. The 14th is where we will raise the flag and um, right. do the ceremonial things. And that's? That will be outside, but we'll start on the inside okay. and then we'll move to outside for the raising of the flag. Okay, yep. And that is the end of my report. Thank you, any questions for uh, Carla? I would, uh, I would encourage uh, all of you to look at the calendar that Tom sent out. Um, and we'll have an update with some additional update. weeks yeah. um, in the next day or two. Okay. And if you can, sign up for one and, uh, you know, meet some of your fellow Urbana citizen people and, you know, we can do a little recruitment. Sometimes there's food. It's really, I, you know, I think it's a great idea. Myself. All right. So, thank you, Carla. Announcements. This commission now has four openings. So we're, you know, making progress. Thank you. Um, our next meeting is Tuesday, June 16th, 5.30 p.m. right here. Um, we have Juneteenth celebration events, which uh, Carla explained, uh, and then Jetty Roads Day, which is at King Park um, from 12 to 4, and we'll have a table. Okay. The next meeting is June 11th, isn't June it? June 11th. I just realized that is a misprint, so June 11th is the correction. Good. Thank you, Pete. <laughs> June 11th. I, I was scared there for a minute because I knew I was somewhere that weekend. <laughs> All right, June 11th. Sorry about that. That's a special week for us because... The 18th was the original date, and that's the holiday weekend or holiday midweek. Right. Okay. Uh, and then there's Jetty Roads Day, and we'll have a table, so be nice. I have a couple of us there, I think. And I presume you're going to be there, uh, Carla? Okay. okay. Yes, I'll be there um, for all of these, and then Tom may show up on, on some of them, too. Okay. As, Great. as time allows. Yeah, I hope we have good weather for those outdoor ones. It can be miserable. Is there any registration to participate in that event? For us? Yes. I think if we just let Carla know that we want to attend, um, just shoot her an email or give her a call, let her know. I suppose we, I, you know, we don't need all of us there, but it would be nice to have one or two of us at each one. And if you let me know if you're going to be there, we could possibly, if there, if everybody decides to come, we can make it into shifts where you wouldn't have to be there the whole time, but we would have representation from the board the whole time. Yeah, that that'd be nice too. Two at a time would be the actual maximum for. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for open meeting requirements. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> okay. Um, as far as I know, we have no other business this evening. So uh, unless there are any commissioner comments, no? All right, this meeting is adjourned.